all say amen. God is good. We're going to go ahead on and and get started. The deacons are ready to go, and and uh, we're not going to keep them waiting. So God will be in our midst today. Amen. 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 God be over.
Joy in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Uh huh. Of heaven. Yes. Yes. In earth. Uh huh. Yes. O oh Lord God our Father. Yes. Master, we come to you one more time, Master. Uh -huh. In the humblest manner that we know how. Master, first and foremost, Master, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this again, Master. Heavenly Father, for waking us up this morning, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. Heavenly Father, as we slept and slumbered, Heavenly Father, in the storm. Heavenly Father, first you protected us, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. You gave us a house, Heavenly Father, to protect us from the elements, Heavenly Father. But then we want to say thank you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, as I woke up this morning, early this morning, Heavenly Father, I walked around my house, Heavenly yeah. Father. That was peace in my house, Heavenly Father. Yeah. So then I want to say thank you, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, this morning also, Heavenly Father, you, as we slept, I'm conscious of all things around us, Heavenly Father. You decided, Heavenly Father, to come by this morning, Heavenly Father, and open our blind eyes, Heavenly Father, to see a day that we haven't seen before, Heavenly Father. And for that, I want to say thank you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, your blessings don't stop there, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we woke up, Heavenly Father, the use of activity of all of our limbs, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father. We had clothes to put on our backs this morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, you've been good to us, Father. Father, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, before we walk, went up on the dangerous highways and byways this morning, Heavenly Father, you saw fit, Heavenly Father, that the highway to be clear so we can get here this morning, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, who would want to serve a God like that, Heavenly Father? Thank you, God, for who you are. Thank you for being that God that sits high, Heavenly Father, that looks long, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we also, Heavenly Father, want to pray for you, Lord, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Baptist Church, Heavenly Father. Master, we pray for all the churches that open in your name, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we ask, Heavenly Father, Satan is busy, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we come here this morning, Heavenly Father, asking for the manifestation of your word, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, anything that might right hinder that, Heavenly Father, we ask that you remove it right now. Heavenly Father, we're going to have a hallelujah time, Heavenly Father. We can look back to what you've done to us, Heavenly Father, where we came from, Heavenly Father. We put our Lord here because he woke us up this morning. We put luck, Heavenly Father, that got us here. It's because of your grace and mercy. Say thank you, Lord. Come. Heavenly Father. Spot you. Strength and force, Heavenly Father. This morning, we're going to ask that 
a devotion service, which is hard warming for our spiritual soul. Amen. Musicians will give us our morning hymn, and then from there we will go into our uh, pulpit devotion. Let us remain standing for our our scripture reading will come from uh, Reverend Miller. The prayer will come from Reverend Allen. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Church say amen again. Our scripture reading this morning will come from Psalms, the 122nd chapter, starting with the first verse, and it reads, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. May God add a blessing to the hearers, readers, and most of all, the doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Turn to God. Just once again, we pause this morning just to say thank you. God, we realize that you have blessed us with the rain, but we yet were still able here to make it to the house of worship with no hurt, harm, or danger. For that, we pause to say thank you. God, we realize that you woke us up this morning and clothed us in our right minds, Father. Gave us activities of our limbs, Father. For that, we pause and say thank you. 
God, as we celebrate these mothers on today, Lord, we know that you are a provider. Lord, we know you to be a, a way maker. God, we know that when the meal ran low, you yet still provided. When the oil was short, you yet still provided. When shoes got expensive, you yet still provided. When clothes couldn't fit no more, you yet still provided. When sickness hit bodies, you yet still provided. So this morning, Lord, we want to say thank you for the mothers, Father. Those mothers that had to endure terrible times, Father. Those mothers that had to endure hard times, Lord. Those mothers that had to call on your name in the midnight hour, Father. You yet still was a way maker, God. God, they knew you to be the one that would open up doors, Father. Father, they knew you to be the one that would send a hedge of protection around their children. And so, Father God, this one, and Father, we come celebrating these mothers, Father. Father, we come celebrating these grandmothers, these godmothers, these stepmothers, these one, these women that have been assigned to raise children, God. But God, we know that the same God that they celebrated back then, the same God that they depended on back then, is the same God that we can depend on right now, God. Because, God, we know that even when it, it looks bad, that you are God that can be able to make everything all right. So this morning we come praising your holy name, God. God, we come lifting your name on high, Father. Father, we come lifting you up, God, because you've been good and kind to us, Father. As we look back over our lives, God, you yet still made ways, Father. And even on today, God, you yet still making ways, Father. And, Father, before we leave here, we know that everything is going to be all right, Father. So, God, this morning we come praying for the man that's going to break the bread of life, Father. God, we ask that you would just strengthen him right now in the name of Jesus, Father. Touch his body right now, Father. Touch his mind, Father. Father, touch his voice, Father. Father, let him say a word that sinners will come running saying, what must they do to be saved, Father? Father, let a word go forth that can be an encouragement in these dark times, Father. Let a word go forth, Father, that we can be able to carry on just a little while longer, God. Because, God, we know that we read in your word that said, if, if, my, if I be lifted up, uh, that I would draw out men unto me, God. God, we come to lift your name on up this morning, God. God, we come to praise you this morning, God. Lord, we thank you right now, God. God, you've been good and you've been kind to us, Lord. God, you've been so sustainful, God. Lord, we love you, Lord. Praise your holy name. God bless these that are here, Father. Bless those who are viewing, God. Bless those that wanted to be here but couldn't, Father. Touch them right now, Father. Father, we realize that today can be hard for some. It's not everybody has a mother that's on this side. But, God, we ask that you would give them strength right now. Build them up, Father, when they find themselves torn down, God. God, give them the strength when they find themselves weak. Father, we know that you will wipe every tear from my eyes, Father. God, we praise your holy name forever and ever. This is our prayer in Christ Jesus' name we do pray. And all who please said amen, amen, and amen again. Let us all say amen again. At this time, we will hear from our Lord Nelson Church and then the pastor. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. I'm giving all praises to God, to Pastor McCormick, and all ministers on the roster. Thank you. Today is Sunday, May 14th, 2023. These are announcements for today. Um, ushers are asked to meet in the Frank K. Senior Fellowship Hall immediately after, um, immediately following morning worship service, Deacon Bryant. Um, we have a uh, special announcement from Deacon Jones. 
at this time. Amen. Good morning, my Levite family. Good morning. Y'all know why I'm up here. May 28th. Amen. I'm going to this thing memorized, and y'all good right now. Amen. Amen. Okay, here. Amen. Amen. Y'all be educated. May 28th, we will be celebrating our pastoral anniversary. First annual pastoral anniversary. We want you guys here to show out in numbers. We want y'all here to, again to support our pastor. Show him how much we love him. We meet all of you out here uh, May 28th. At 11 o'clock, we will have Kevin Workman, pastor of Rogers Star Baptist Church, will be at 11 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, we'll have uh, Reverend Dale Horton, pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church. Amen. We will have food. That'll get them. Call you. Oh, my God. That'll get them. You say we have That'll get them. <laughs> Call your friends and family. Get them on out here. But again, we want to have a hallelujah time. It is our pastor's anniversary. We want to have a hallelujah time. Thank you. Oh, here's another thing. If you want to show some love, not just physically, but money wise too, they can check it out to Joseph McCormick. Okay, we'll have a basket right here. Amen. And all you check it out to Joseph McCormick. Okay, thank you. We have an announcement at this time from Sister Paula Harris. Like to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, mothers, aunts, uncles, <laughs> even some of these men that play that role too. <laughs> Just like to say happy Mother's Day to everybody. Um, a couple months ago, we had our stewardship uh, month here at uh, New Life, and um, I did something uh, for Sister Paige. Uh, yeah. right. the dedication of the ceremony that we had in the book back. So gather my pictures that I had taken and put them in here. And she will be sure to go and we want people to come back in <laughs> from the public and then also the uh, just the people as well. If you're here today and again I just want to say we just want to do like that time again. And let's be At this time, we're asking all visitors to please stand. Welcome. Here at the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, there is a stand-in location to you each week. Pastor McCormick and members of the Light are glad that you have chosen to worship with us today. We trust that something may be said or done that will strengthen your life. May God be with you and come back and visit with us again. Amen. Sister Irma Harvey Shannon announcing Kurt, Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, pastor. Amen. Now, at this time, the men of the light are going to do a, a special presentation. Amen. Mother's Love by Helen Steiner Ryer. There's no love like a mother's. Her heart is filled with care. With Christ as her example, her Savior's love she'll share. A mother's love is endless, not changing for all time. When needed by her children, a mother's love will shine. God bless these special mothers. God bless them, everyone. For all their tears and heartache, a special work they've done. When days on earth are over, a mother's love lives on. Through many generations, God blessings on each one. Be thankful for our mothers who love with higher love. From power God has given and strength from up above. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Life 
Mike here in the family. Good morning. Uh, I rose this morning. Uh, we have uh, a little token for, when I say we, the men of the light, whether they be small or old. <laughs> We're going to give the, the, the mothers a little token of appreciation. We can never say thank you enough for being a mother. You know, even with this bad weather today, I see some of the mothers turned out, and we appreciate you. Not just today, but every day. We love you. Amen. in new life. Uh, I have something that I want to share in honor of uh, myself to the 75 plus 12 men. We have more. Hey, amen. And so Miss Lady Spencer, Just want to introduce you all. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 Good morning, New Light. Good morning, New Light. Good morning, New Light. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. Man, all kinds of goodies being passed around. I'm I'm looking around, trying to wait till something come to me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like Jackson Bar, but uh, next day, next day. But this, uh, I, I am, I am uh, very, very proud that uh, uh, the men of the light have done that, uh, as well as uh, Sister Bailey and others uh, who have uh, provided uh, tokens and gifts uh, this morning. 
uh, this is a part of our stewardship. Amen. And we know we've studied stewardship for at least one uh, for a 30 day period. And we got stewardship on the brain and on the heart. Amen. And so we do it very, very well. And we and I thank you for that very good uh, uh, observation there. Fifth Sunday board, July the 30th. Uh, yours truly will be preaching. I think that's going to be down in South Austin that uh, friendly will. Yes. Yes, appreciate that. Um, next, uh, on, the, on the 21st, May the 21st, we have Minister Miller. We will be bringing the word. Amen. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about him coming to bring the word of the Lord. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. Um, to all of our visitors, those who are online and well as those who are in person, I want to say thank you for coming. You could have uh, stopped by some other church uh, along the way. You probably passed up several along the way, but we say thank you for being here. Now, I know a number of y'all are here with your, your mothers and that type of thing. We, so we are certainly appreciate that. We love your mothers. Right. Amen. And so thank you all for coming and for being with us, those who are here in person as well as those who are online. Amen. Amen. Uh, keep... Um, let me see. New light. No, I'm sorry. Keep uh, Light of the Star uh, in your prayers. They had a little mishap uh, this last couple of days. We've had a lot of rain. And so they had a ceiling that came in, caved in. And so they're doing some uh, some additional things. But uh, just, just keep them in your prayers. That they're, on, they're on the job and they're getting it repaired. Amen. But you know they're going to be here on the, at the end of the month. Amen. So uh, just keep them in your prayers on that. Um Good to have uh, Brother and Ant Andrew Allen, Reverend Ant Andrew Allen. Exactly. Thank you. Can you see over this his mom, Sister Allen? Amen. All right. Thank you for that prayer this morning. Amen. Amen. Um, someone, someone was very nice to New Life. Yeah. Uh, now we have people that are nice to New Life every day, and we appreciate that. But someone was extra nice with a big E. Very extra. Y'all, y'all get you get the drift. You get the drift. And and, 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 and we just want to say thank you. I'm not going to point them out. Uh, it's anonymous. I know who it was, but that's okay. That's all right. And uh, I just want to say thank you for the person who did that. And I uh, also want to say thank you to those who will, who will do that in the future. Uh, we say that in, in advance. We are always open to those kinds of donations. Uh, that donation was targeted toward our technology. And you know we're working on our technology. We don't have... Um, couple of mics this morning, but we're working on that whole process. And amen. We are improving in that area. Uh, things are moving in that area. And so they just thought it would be nice to add something very, very extra. Amen. 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 Thank you so very, very much for that. Amen. Amen. I think uh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, mothers are special. Um, I remember my mother dragging me to church. I was a drug baby. They dragged, just, just dragged me to church. <laughs> and so, I, but I thank her so. Uh, I remember her Paradise uh, Baptist Church in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I know exactly where it's at. Still standing. And she made sure I was there every Sunday. Uh, and whether she could be there or not. She'd get one of the deacons to come over and get me if she, if she couldn't get there. Uh, but uh, she made sure I was in church. And, uh, and so mothers are, are, are just special. Mothers do all, I mean, their, their job description is just wide and deep. Because they'll do anything for their children. Amen? They'll do anything and everything for their children. And so they are very, very special and so we want to make sure that we recognize them all. And I, matter, matter of fact, mothers stand up, please. Mothers stand up, please. Mother, all mothers, all, if you're a mother, stand up, please. Stand up. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, very much. Amen. Good to see Mother Cage in the house today. Mother Cage, good to see you in the house today. Amen. Amen. All right. I think that's all of my announcements I have today. Uh, we have our tithes and offering trays uh, to my right and to my left on the table in case you would like to contribute. So feel free to do so, okay? And then after this, we always do our prayer. Uh, so um, our prayer, uh, we're praying for a whole lot of things today. Uh, these days, I should say. Our prayer list includes uh, the New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church family. And every member in, the, in New Light. And then also the President of the United States. Vice President, the Senate, and the House, and the Cabinet, and all staff, the governor of this state, uh, and the elected, all the elected leaders, the state representatives, the senators, and all that, as well as state staff, uh, that, as well as the county elected leaders, county judge, and uh, the commissioner's court, uh, and the staff, amen, as well as the city council, being including the mayor of the city. The mayor of the city, as well as the rest of the city council staff that work uh, and provide services for us. Amen. Okay. And then also police chiefs and police commissioners everywhere, not only in Austin, but everywhere. Anyone who is wearing a badge and has a gun on their side, we're praying for all of them because they're on the streets and they're meeting us on a day-to-day -day basis. Amen. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're including uh, them as well. And then... Uh, all uh, all wayward souls. Oh, uh, all wayward souls. Uh, I had one or two in my family, so I, we want to make sure that we talk about and speech, uh, and pray for them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There's no victims of uh, of uh, victims in the families of those who are plagued by violence. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you go. You can go to movies. You can go to the grocery store. You can go to a restaurant. Right. It doesn't matter. You can you can meet violence. Violence will meet you there. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. So let's be praying for all persons who feel they have to take up violence. And then for all our visitors, those who are here today, those who are watching this uh, virtually, as well as those who are in with us on today. Amen. Amen. Did I leave anybody out? Did I leave anybody out? All right. We want to make sure we... Pray for everybody. Amen. Yeah. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Father, the Lord, we once again come to you. Coming to your throne of grace. Lord, we don't deserve the opportunity, but you allow us to do so anyway. You woke us up this morning and got us on our way. We have a reasonable portion of health and strength, dear Lord, and we say thank you. Dear Lord, we say thank you for those who are sick and shut in. Those, wherever they may be at, dear Lord, those who may be um, having mental issues or psychological issues, or those who may have monetary issues, dear Lord, those who may have family issues, Heavenly Father, and relationship issues, Heavenly Father. We, dear Lord, we hold up those who are, who are, or, or are just lonely on today, dear Lord. Because today is a special day, and, and they may not have their mother with them today. The Lord, so we want to hold them up to you, Heavenly Father. The Lord, we want to hold up all persons, the Lord, who are hurting in whatever way they may be hurting, Heavenly Father. The Lord, bless them, the Lord. Touch them, the Lord. Be with them, the Lord. Stand with them, the Lord. Sit with them, the Lord. Nudge them, the Lord. Let them know that you are there and you will never leave them. So Lord, we thank you, the Lord, for what you're doing for New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing with, to, with our choir and our deacon board and our members, the Lord, and all of our, our usher board, the Lord. We thank you, the Lord, for all that you are doing and all that you will do. Yes, the Lord, we thank you, the Lord, for all your goodness and your kindness, the Lord. Your goodness and your kindness, Heavenly Father. We can't, we can't scoff at that. And your mercy. Lord, Lord, we get a brand new set of verses each and every day. Lord, I, I don't know about anybody else. I can't point at anybody else. But I, know, I need mercy. And I need mercy, a new set of verses every day. 
And so I say thank you, the Lord. The Lord, thank you for our preachers and uh, who are here, the Lord, and those who are not here, the Lord. Thank you, the Lord, for all that they do and all of the work they do, all that they will do, Heavenly Father. Thank you for our choir and our, 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 our minister of music, the Lord, and our, our musicians, whatever they are, the Lord. Thank you for all that they do and all that they contribute to the worship service, the Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you have done. All that you will do in the in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And amen. We'll come back well, after uh selection of two, we'll come back with the word from the Lord. Amen.
this morning. Don't touch, touch. Good morning. This morning, the choir wants to give a tribute to mothers and all that you do for all of us. Help me, choir. I still hear Mama pray. Oh, I still hear Mama pray and the prayers that she pray. They still keeping me. Oh. I still hear. Oh, I still hear. And the prayers that she prayed, they still keep in me. Oh, I still. Mm, when mama bowed her head and knelt down in fervent prayer, she knew how to call on the name of Jesus. For she knew he meet her there. Oh, she thank him. For help there for strength. Just to fight this Christian race. Oh, but she never, she never failed to pray for our children. Say, Lord, save them by your grace. And I still hear mama praying. I still hear my mama praying. And the prayers that she prayed, they still keep it me. Oh. Now the one that you call mama, she may be sleeping in the arms of our God. But the memories of the family devotion causes us to always trust our Lord. Oh, she prayed for the Lord to bless and keep her children always. Let the love of God abide. And the prayers that she pray will come out to we to we meet him. Mother oh, pray for me. Mama pray for me. My mama, mama, mama pray for me. My mama pray for me. Oh, don't forget. Jesus, God. Pray for me. Mama, pray for me.
Pray for me. I can recall my mama kneeling down to pray. She said, I said, our father. It's once more again. Your humble servant bow in the normal way I know how. I want to thank you for last night standing down and this morning rising. I want to thank you for a reasonable portion of health and strength. I want to thank you that my bed that I lay in with my cooling boy and the sheets I had wasn't my wine and sheets. I want to thank you. Thank you for letting my moments roll down and roll down a little while longer. My mama prayed for me. Oh, I still here. Okay. Yes, I still hear my mama praying. Hallelujah, I still want to hear my mama praying. She said, you ain't gone for 11 years. Mom, I kept on praying for me. Me. Yeah. 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 Mom, I pray for me. Anybody here with this? Mom, I pray for me. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. How many, how many people remember that your mother prayed for you? How many remember that your mother prayed for you while, while, while you were out late? While you were out late running the streets? Mama was home praying that you would get back home that night. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. That's how you got back home. Because mama was praying. She's interceding on your behalf. Amen. 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 What? Amen. 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 Yeah, this is better. I can't walk too far with this, but that's okay. This is better. Amen, amen, amen. All righty, all righty. Amen. Here's a word from the Lord. Here's a word from the Lord. It's First John, First John, First John, third chapter. First John, third, first chapter, first chapter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, third, third, third chapter. First John, third chapter. Third chapter. First John, third chapter. Third chapter. Verse one. First John, third chapter, verse one. It reads this wise. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. That ends the reading of the word. That ends the reading of the word. I want to tag the text this morning. A glorious love adoption. A glorious love adoption. Lord, I'm going to pray for me this morning. Pray for me this morning. 
the glorious law of adoption. You know, in our communities, we've one of the things about our communities, we we would take folk in. If there was a stray child or a child that was without a home or something like that, we had a we had a we had a knack for just taking them in. Our mothers raised not only theirs, but they raised somebody else's. All right now, I, I, I need some amens from I need some amens from my head now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 would do that, uh, and and they would care for them like they care for their own. Uh, and and we've been doing. It. And matter of fact, they would do it, and 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 the child might not even be from our community. We have a history of that. The child was from somebody else's community. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Do you understand? And, and, and we would care for that child just like we care for ours. Yes. She would, she would, we have a we have we have we have a history of that. Yeah. And that's because of the love and care within the mother. Yeah. That's what it was. Love and the care within the mother. I remember, I remember, you know, several, several kids that were in our neighborhood, and I knew they're all going well. The mother that was the house they were living at was not their mother, but that's okay. It didn't matter. They were getting fed, they were getting clothes, and they had a roof over their head. And matter of fact, they had a little change in their pocket too. And mothers would do that. Mothers would do that. Yes, yes, and mothers would do that, and and so. There was a story. A story is true. It says it. It was told of two brothers who wanted to play little league baseball. Yeah. As they signed up, the registrar was puzzled. He was puzzled when he was looking over their paperwork. According to their paperwork, he noticed they were six months apart. Birthwise, six months apart, birthwise, and so uh, he tried to hold himself, and he, <laughs> you know, and he got the best of him. So he approached the young uh, young boy, and he said, uh, "This is the registrar." He said, "Do you are brothers?" He asked, and, and I said, "Yep." They answered, "Yes," uh, but you're only six months apart, is what he said. Uh, and it, this puzzled the official uh, as he counted, you know, with this comeback. It puzzled him. He says, well, what, what, one of us, and this is the boys now, one of us is adopted. Said one of the boys. One of us is adopted. Which one? That's the registrar. We ask our dad all the time, said the boys. But he says he can't remember. He can't remember. The father displayed what is called unconditional love from the family and understanding that both boys were important to the family unit and that both boys would get equal love, not one over the other or anybody, both boys. Yes. Yes. Unconditional love. Yes. Oh, man. Let me get through this here. He wanted them both boys, to, he wanted both those boys to be equal members of the family. It's so nice to be adopted into the family of God. How many of y'all bought your way in? How many of y'all bought your way in? I mean, you, you I mean, did you slip somebody something under the door, you know, before you came in? I mean, I'm just asking the question. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right church here. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm in the right church. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we, you know, we have verse one here. Uh, the first suggests three things. Number one, uh, it, it suggests the origin. It also suggests the object. 
And then it suggests the objective. Can I unpack that a little bit? Y'all mind if I unpack that a little bit? Brother Al, you mind if I unpack that a little bit? Okay. Oh, all right, all right. So, 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 so God the Father is the origin of the love. Man is the object of God's love. And the objective of God's love is found in the words that we should should we should be called sons of God the Father. That adoptive language. That adoptive language that pulls them on in. This verse begins with the word behold. Look. Look. Pay attention. Don't pass this. Don't miss this. That's what God is saying. Don't miss this. The greatness of the divine love, which that really is what's displayed here, is displayed throughout the Bible, but it's especially displayed here. Adoptive love. Adoptive love. It says, Tarkin, stop what you're doing. Give him your attention and recognize something great here. This meaning of love. What kind of love is there? It's different. Christian love is different. Here it is. Yeah, it is. Be glad it is. Be glad that it is. Well, my first point here I want to talk about here is the, is the defining of this calling. Because this was a calling, okay? It's the defining of this calling. In this case, it means that there was a name and not to assume or enable uh, for serving. God has, a, has named us sons of God. Now, let me say real quickly, sons and daughters, okay? That's what it means. All inclusive, sons and daughters. Yeah. Nobody left out, right? The term is used in several spots or several places within the Bible. A simple answer to this is that Christians were called sons of God is because Christians are born of God. That makes us sons and daughters of God. It includes uh, on both sides, and, and we are established. We're part of the family. We're part of the family. Nobody left out. No, 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 no. Nobody put outside the outside the back. No, no, no. Nobody, no, no, no. I mean, nobody left. You know, uh, left to fend for themselves. All right. Nobody left home. Right. Everybody gone. Everybody's with us all together, all at once. Right? Uh-huh. Family. The family. Not only were they called sons of God in chapter one, verses two and one. It says also again, in, uh, it was also again in, in uh, First John three and two. It says, "Behold, now are we the sons of God, and it does appear what we shall be. But we know that when He shall appear, and He is coming back, we shall be like Him." For we shall see him as he is. All right. Paul also wrote about this thing called sons of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And for the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Romans 8 and 14. And because we are the sons and daughters of God, we get, we have something that comes to us. We are what we call joint heirs. Joint heirs of the heavenly glory. Joint heirs. Joint heirs with Jesus of the heavenly glory, right? Uh, this, we, in other words, our father, he's got cattle of a thousand hills. He's rich. All of everything, everything he owns, everything I have, everything you have, everything we want, he owns all that. All right? It means, first of all, that our right to the divine heritage stands or falls with Christ's right to the same 
equal with Christ's right, with Jesus Christ's right to the same inheritance. We get the same inheritance he does. We are co heirs. There is more about this. We are co There is this great privilege of God's love, the great privilege of being called children of God. I mean, they say that generically speaking. Children of God. Think about how. How astounding that is to be called a child of the supreme majesty. A child of the great one of the universe. A child of the supreme intelligence and power that created all things. There was no greater privilege than to be called a child of God. Two significant points here. Uh, it is the love of God that has bestowed the privilege of adoption upon us. No man is a child of God because of any merit or work of his own. In other words, you didn't outwork somebody to get yours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God loves us so much he adopted us as his children. This distinguishes us from all people who do not follow Christ, right? From all people who do not follow Christ. It, it is like saying, uh, uh, we, 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 I mean, it was given to us, bestowed on us while we were yet sinners. Oh, mercy. I mean, he loved us in, even when I. I mean, not, you know, I mean, he, he, he loved when I was a sinner, as much as I was doing. I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers at you all. I'm talking about me now. I'm talking about me. As, as much as I was doing, and he loved me anyway with unconditional love. And he bestowed it upon me. Even when I didn't know who he really was. It is this that makes the love of God so amazing. It was while we were rebelling and opposing God, while we were sinners and enemies of God, while we were standing against God, while we were in wrath and enmity with God, while we wanted little and anything to do with God, that God bestowed his love upon us. Yeah, he did. And we didn't deserve it. Point number two. There's a thing called the dignity and the calling. It says, call the sons of God. That phrase. It says, this title or, or name is higher than any title or name or honor that the world can give a person. It gives more reward, more rank, and more Privileges in eternity hmm. than anything else we can name each other on this earth. The name we get here on this earth, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't hold a cattle to what we're named up here, right? Children of God. The rewards, the rank, and the privileges in eternity don't hold the cattle. We ought to be thankful. Amen. We ought to be thankful Amen. because there is dignity in the calling. And then, 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 then there's this third point. There's, there's distinction. The sons of God. We are all children of the God of God, but do not, do not fail to differentiate between um, creation and conversion. I'm pausing because I wanted to sink in a little bit. Creation and conversion. Uh, all mankind are God's offspring by creation. However, that relationship does not crave not even one soul. We are, we are also God's offspring by conversion. That's what saves the soul. 
That's what saves a soul right there. Yeah, conversion is what, that's the important part. When we're creating, that's a lot of folk out here creating and walking around thinking they, uh, you know, this, they big, bad, and bodacious, uh, walking around, you know, creating laws about this and, and, and mistreating people about that. But that doesn't mean they have been converted. And based upon their actions, it looks like they are not converted. They are created. We see them walking around with two legs or whatever they're doing, however they are. They're walking around, talking big stuff. Huh? Yeah. But boy, that behavior is not one of a converted person. The relationship is what actually saves soul. The distinction was interesting because it refers to the sense of intimacy, fellowship, and connection, right? Uh, the unbelieving world does not have a relationship with Christ. They don't. Mm -mm. Therefore, they have no relationship with his children. Right? All right? Uh, and, 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 and so God's children are to become increasingly like the Father, regardless of whether others recognize you or I or not. Regardless. We don't worry about whether or not they recognize you as being part of God's family. As long as God recognizes you. You know, <laughs> uh, we, are, we, are, we are set apart because of the conversion path. Piece. We're set apart. And so, you know, in this thing called adoption, now, now you know, we all were adopted, you know, with like in a in a normal adoption, you know, there's a there's a family, and they want they want to adopt a child or adopt uh, children into the family, and they have to go through the process, right? And they have to get analyzed and checked out, right? And and they have to become approved. They have to become approved, uh, and and that approval process is is lengthy, uh, and it's deep. <laughs> it's deep. Oh, it's deep. The approval process is deep. For us, it's the approval process of the heart. God's checking out the heart. He's checking out the heart. In the, in the normal setting, you know, they're looking at finances and all that. God ain't looking at all that when we when it's come time for us, for us to be adopted. He's not looking at our finances, what we have out in the, in the driveway, how big the, the house is, four, five, six bedrooms. He's not looking at all that. No, no, no. Uh, how much cash you got in the bank? You know, do you have enough to, to get a nanny? Do you have enough to get a this and to get a that? He's not looking at all that. There's a difference in the adoption process. There's a difference in adoption. And so once you get approved, once you get approved, then it's time. It's the time that everybody's been waiting on. It's the time for the children to meet the new parents. Yeah, yeah. And they get together and they hug each other and that type of thing. And then they go home and live their lives. Yeah. They go home and live their lives. What about us? In our adoptive process, uh -huh. there's the part we're waiting on. There is the part we're waiting on. There's the part we're waiting on. There's the part that we're waiting on. We live our lives, we live our lives according to God, with the relationship with Him, the one that is converted. Because we're waiting. We're waiting because there is this thing called the destiny of the calling. The destiny of the calling. Uh, it, 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 we, 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 we know that it ain't about being right here. It ain't about being right here. I know in the normal adoption process, it's about being right here. What's going to happen to the child and the family right here? But guess what? Ours is different. Ours is different. Ours is such that it's the destiny of where we're going. Yeah, yeah, it's the destiny. Yeah, call, uh, it's, it's called by and called for. We're called by God, but we're called for God. He don't want to stay down here. He wants to be up there with him. Right? 
We saw by God the Father. We are called sons and daughters of God the Father, and we are, are considered the sons and daughters of God the Father. But, but, but we are called as sons and daughters, and as the divine consideration states, we are the adopted. And as the adopted, we have heavenly hope. We have a heaven, you know, we have a heavenly hope. Uh, heavenly hope uh, to go home to be with God the Father. For there is there was a specific incident uh, in in the Gospels that talked about uh, the only begotten Son, uh, the one and only, the perfect one, the one that made him uh, his Father well pleased. We did. Uh, he he did pay the price for the, for our sins. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came here, uh, went to the cross. He died, right? Yes, he did die. Yes, he did. Um, I want to tell you, yes, he did. He died. Mm, yes, he did. In the adoption process, when a child is adopted, the new parents complete all of the paperwork. But then it comes home time that they gotta go home into that in that process. Hmm. Our, our parents. Our parents up in heaven. You and I are here now, and, but please understand that Jesus Christ said two things among many things, okay? Two things. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, for I know the plans I have for you. <laughs> Declares the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And he said in John 14, 2 through 3, he said, he said that uh, in my father's house are many mansions. He's letting you know there's room up there for you. Oh, if there, there, there are many mansions. If I if there were not so, I would have told you. I go to what? Prepare a place. But I would ask you the question, are you prepared? He's going to prepare a place. But are you prepared? Are you prepared for the place that he's going to prepare for us? That's the question. Mm. I will come again and receive you unto myself. Like where I am, ye may be also. He's saying, I'm coming. I'm coming back. So what will, it, what will we see when we see Jesus? What will we see when we see him uh, in heaven? It describes the, it describes the thing. Jesus is there. He was uh, dressed in a long robe with uh, uh, a golden uh, breastplate. He, uh, his head and his hair were white uh, as snow white wool. His eyes blazed like fire, uh, and his feet shone in the finest bronze, glows in the furnace. Right. His voice had the sound of a great waterfall. Uh, and I saw that in that, his right hand, uh, he had uh, a sword in his right hand, right? A sharp two-edged sword came out of his mouth, and his face was ablaze uh, like the sun, uh, as his was the eye. This isn't the same Jesus that walked the earth. It wasn't the same Jesus that walked amongst us. This. This this was the scripture. This was shifting, right? Oh, but what would it look like when we get to heaven? What we look what would it look like? Well, heaven is not a mystical place. Well, it's not a mythical place. Uh, it is a holy dwelling of the Lord Most High. Uh, and although we cannot even begin to comprehend the splendor. And, uh, and the, the, that the Bible gives uh, a beautiful description of the place in which who's, those who receive Christ will go. And this we will call our home. And we will call it our home for eternity. No matter how spectacular the mansions in our Father's house is, dwelling with Jesus is the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwelling with Jesus is the welcome in the heaven, not the way, the truth, and the life will be the culmination of the hope we have in Christ. The city of the living God will be a spectacular place according to God's perfect design. And as one writer puts it, the heavenly Jerusalem will be a place of unimaginable blessing. Can you imagine the blessing in heaven? 
everything that you thought you had, everything that you was ailing it was is all gone. Mm. You'll be among the great multitude, which no, which can't be numbered. The great multitude, which cannot be numbered, all the nations and all the tribes and all the people and all the different tongues are standing before the throne of, of the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in our hands, and crying out uh, loud, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and the Lamb of God. In heaven, there will be uh, no confusion about who he is. There will not be any confusion about the Prince of Peace. Uh, remember, he came into Jerusalem on a donkey on one day. And guess what? Three days and seven days later, guess what? Uh, they didn't know who he was. There will be no confusion in heaven. All that is out the window. All that's down on earth. There will be no confusion about who he is. Every saint from every tribe and tongue will be clothed in the room. They will know why Jesus is there. Yes, God will wipe away all the tears. Every tear you have, the tear, the tear you may have had last night, the tear you may have had last week, the tear you may have had today, the tear you might have tonight, even the tear you might have had, maybe your mother's not here. Whatever the whatever the case may be, He's gonna wipe away, wipe away. Oh, the tears. There will be no mistake about who Jesus is. Then uh, John was, he was brought in the spirit. He was taken up to a mountain so he could see within the spirit. And he says, come. The angel said, come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. Uh, and he carried him away to the mountaintop and showed him this great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her, uh, her, her light was like a most precious stone. The city had no need of the sun or the moon to shine in it for the glory of God illuminated it. The lamb is the light. In the middle of the street, uh, the streets are paved with gold. Do y'all remember that? Uh, the streets are paved with gold. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The streets are paved with gold. In the middle of the street, on both sides of the river, was a tree of life which bore the 12 fruits. And those fruit carried took away all diseases that man ever had. Done away with all the diseases that man ever had. All the illnesses, all the ailments that man has ever had. For all tribes. And then there was us, that, that great multitude of folks coming in and going out. Are you, brother, you, are you, part, of, are you part of them? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. I'll just make sure check it. Be, are you part of them? The great multitude, are you part of the great multitude? Are you part of the great multitude going in and going out? Oh, because of our adoption. That's where it started at. That's where it started because of our adoption. It was a glorious adoption. What happened to us? We were adopted. That's what happened. Yes. 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 And the price was paid on the cross. Yeah. Hung there. And nailed in his hands. The stakes in his feet. Hung there. Between the sixth and the ninth hour, he dropped his head between the locks of his shoulder. And he died. And he died. They took him down, put him in a bar tomb. He was there to rest of Friday. Friday night. He was there Friday night. Late Friday night, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, Saturday morning, late early, late Saturday morning, noontime on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and then late on Saturday, late on Saturday, but right early on Sunday morning, right early on Sunday morning, he got up, he got up with all power in heaven and the earth. In his hands. And he made sure that you and I were able to get to heaven. Amen? It started out, we were adopted. 
It's a glorious adoption. It's a glorious adoption. We ought to be thankful. Doors of the church are open. Doors of the church are open. You may be visiting and looking for a church home. New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church is a very good church. We strive to love everybody. We'd love to have you as a member. You also may be looking to be baptized. We would love to baptize you here. Baptism is the inward expression, outward expression of the inward commitment. We'd love to do that. It'd be a pleasure for me. Amen. You may be here on watch care and you want somebody to look after you so you have a place to come. No problem. While you're here, temporarily, we'd love to be able to be that place that you come. While we hear from our, our uh, music and arts ministry, please feel free. You're welcome to come. Two chairs are placed down here for you. Feel free. Come to Jesus. Yeah, I want to be on the meditation. Jesus is
Jake and Colton, Brother Jimmy, Brother Lauren, and Stephen Smith. Glory, Lord God, our Savior. Glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and in the future. Thank you, God. 